everybody, it's me, Zach, and under that blanket is my dog, Potato. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back again with another update into the 72-hour Darlene Misha Sardine Challenge, besties. Uh, Y'all were eating it up, and unfortunately, Amberlynn Reed had some technical difficulties on her, her upload yesterday, so she started off this new schedule, and she's already failed. She couldn't get the video uploaded, so I don't know what's going on with that, but of course, once she makes it back, once she gets a video uploaded, I will be sure to cover it for y'all. I also figured while I'm here, why not throw up a photo of Miss Judy Lou Who? Because I know you all miss her, so enjoy this cute little photo of my precious darling angel, Judy Lou Who. A lot of people also asked if I could start uploading Twitch clips, Twitch streams, whoever, whatever, to like another channel. I do already have a second channel called Zachary Michael 2, but that's where I do some like gaming. So I might look into setting up another Twitch stream, Twitch channel, something here on YouTube so you can watch uh, streams after the fact here on YouTube, but I do have to say if you're interested You can always even if you can't catch a twitch stream live all of my twitch streams stay up on my Twitch channel for I think like a month So you're more than welcome to go catch up there now if you want um, and otherwise we'll see what we can do in terms of of sharing streams later. Uh, so be on the lookout, I guess is what I'm saying, because there were a lot of requests on yesterday's video for me to do that. And now that I got all of that out of the way, um, <laughs> let's just get into today's video. If you missed my video yesterday, a YouTuber who I've covered multiple times, and by multiple times on YouTube, I mean like twice on YouTube. I've covered her a lot on Twitch. Uh, and then yesterday I covered her for a third time, and she has started a sardine challenge where she's only eating sardines for 72 hours, and she uploaded part two last night of this. I'm curious to hear what's going on. Y'all asked for some updates, and I said, all right, we will... We'll jump in and see what's up. I do want to say the super sleuths of the internet did go look up this Dr. Boz, um, this Dr. Boz woman who is the the creator of the 72-hour sardine challenge. And um, in terms of, like, I don't know, credibility, uh, if you just Google her, uh, it does pop up that her medical license was revoked in the state of South Dakota. Consider that. Obviously, go do your own research, as Darlene would say. But uh, that, I just want you to know, is a thing that has come up from the creator of the Sardine Challenge. I do just want to provide a little bit of an update just to, like, do my due diligence in doing my own research. And that I will say, if you read the article that talks about her getting her license revoked it isn't necessarily to do with anything health related or like her practices as a medical doctor um so the article says the south dakota medical board voted thursday to revoke former republican u.s senate candidate annette bosworth's medical license after weighing her felony conviction for election law violations so it's all related to um, some issues, some illegal things she did in terms of trying to get elected to the U.S. Senate. And I will say, you should definitely go read the article. I'll try to remember to leave it linked down below. But there are some fascinating things down below <laughs> in the article. That particular article, I think, is from 2015. And it does look like she has since relocated to Tampa, Florida where she maybe has a practice open as a medical professional. I'm not sure. I tried to go to the website, and it doesn't necessarily even look like she's currently accepting patients. Um, and she also lists, obviously, like, YouTuber and author on her LinkedIn as things that she's currently doing. So I think the biggest thing to keep in mind from the board revoking her license in South Dakota is that their concern was that she wouldn't be honest to, you know, her patients and things like that, and that's why they revoked it. And I don't know, something something about her encouraging people to do sardine cleanses kind of uh, checks out for me, you know? You know what I'm saying? 
So I've rambled and babbled and whoever whatever a long time, so let's just get to get to this video update today, shall we? Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. Hi. This is day two for the sardine challenge. <laughs> I started the sardine challenge uh, yesterday uh -huh. at five o'clock. First of all, before I forget, I am starting a playlist for this series. <laughs> it should be one, two, three, four, only four videos. I was gonna say, how many videos are you getting out of a 72 hour challenge? Realistically, I would think three, one per day. I, that's what I would imagine. Because I started Sunday and it ends Wednesday, but I might do an update on Thursday. Oh, uh, okay. So maybe five videos. <laughs> And wait, that's still not wait. So this is this is a full twenty four hours. Okay, Ooh, so she made one before she started. That's how she's getting the four. I got you. I understand why we would need a fifth update, but okay, okay, whatever, whatever works, bestie. Let's go. And if I really feel the need to tell you other stuff, because I'm I'm starting to feel the need, I might just do some separate videos. Oh. Even if I have two in one day. Come on, video I want queen. This series to just be just about this. Okay, work. Okay. I love organization. I love that you're not putting it all together. That's very helpful for me because if you come on here and talk about some shirts you thrifted or something, because she does do some like thrift hauls. She's been loving going to the thrift store and getting some cutie girl shirts to wear. Like, I'm guessing maybe this one that she's wearing now. I wouldn't know because I don't watch the thrifting stuff. I don't give a shit about it. But <laughs> but I'm glad you're not putting it all in one. It makes it easier for me. So go check the playlist and watch episode number one, part one, I called it. This is part two. And get caught up. Uh, basically, I'm eating get, sardines. Get on, get on her page. So I wanted to tell you how that went. And I do have some notes. I talked to you guys yesterday, and I hadn't started yet. I had just bought my cans of sardines. Now, yesterday, I had a half a stick of butter in the morning. Uh -huh. And then I had a little bit more butter during the day. And then I had some at night. So I probably got my full stick in. Thank God! Some people in the comments were concerned how she was going to get her butter in still, or if she was going to get her butter in still, but she ate a full stick of butter yesterday, y'all. <laughs> no worries. She got a full stick in. Ooh, what do you know about getting a full stick in? Uh, but I hadn't eaten anything else. I just was excited. I knew I was going to be eating sardines. And having listened back to one of Dr. Boz's videos, uh -huh. I think she went 60 hours before she started a can of sardines. So she had not eaten for a bit. That, there. <laughs> that is fucking nuts. That is fucking nuts. Not eating for 60 hours and then being like, mmm, let me rip into these sardines. I just, I, a, a few people mentioned it in the comments on my last video, but it, it feels very disordered, you know? Like, that is, it's just some interesting choices. <laughs> yeah, I, it doesn't, it doesn't set right with me. More than two days. I don't know. I'd have to listen to that again. I do have links to three of Dr. Boz's videos in the description box oh, below. We're, we're up to three videos now. Yesterday she had two videos. One was a short, and the other one was one that she maybe listened to, maybe didn't listen to. I was really unclear. And I did watch the one that I didn't think I had watched. I had watched it, and I kind of watched it again. Yeah. And yes, I was getting some information. She, she had kind of watched it again. So it's still very unclear on whether or not she actually watched this video or not. But anyway, so... Um, oh, wait, I, I want to go back because I think she just admitted she got some information mixed up. Watch the one that I didn't think I had watched. I had watched it, and I kind of watched it again. And yes, I was getting some information screwed up. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> There you are. She was getting she was getting information screwed up, but she was coming on video and saying, y'all need to go get your sardines. Do your own research. Get them. Do this. Do this thing with me right now. But anyway, so um, I hadn't eaten all day yesterday. I then... hadn't ate all day? <laughs> I hadn't eaten all day? I know that she didn't say that, but... Uh, 
Classic. She She's in girl world and she didn't even know it. Got the sardines and then I went home and I ate two cans of sardines because Work. at that point I was kind of hungry and after the first can, I was like, mmm, I have an appetite that I didn't realize and a lot of times... A lot of times with carnivore, you don't realize that you're hungry. You might have a slight headache, you might feel <laughs> tired, you might be thirsty, and you don't realize that that you really, it's because you need to eat more, And but you've just lost your appetite. You lose your appetite easily on carnivore. I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You're, you're not eating to the point that you're getting like headaches and and not feeling good? Girl, what have you done to yourself? <laughs> you you might not realize you're hungry. Yeah, well, you should start realizing, is, is what I'm here to tell you, Bessie. That doesn't sound good. Okay, so at 5 o'clock, I ate two cans of sardines. Okay. And I did indeed add a little bit of mustard and hot sauce. How is and that? And some of you have never seen sardines. You have no clue what is inside that little can. I sure so don't. So tomorrow, I'll record at my apartment and I will show you the sardines. Work. When I get ready to eat, I will open a can. Work. And uh, I'll eat a piece. For I mean, I don't really want to see sardines. I'm not really a fan of fish like that, but I do kind of want to see. And some people, <laughs> some people got to the end of the video yesterday and they were like, after all of that, no, no sardines were eaten. And I was like, no, actually she rarely eats anything. She did recently eat a, a little pat of butter on screen because some people were asking what it looked like for her to eat butter. And she literally just popped it in her mouth and ate it. But she rarely eats on, on camera. She is not a mukbang channel by any means. Although I would love to see like a sardine or butter or beef mukbang just out of like pure morbid curiosity. Are you okay? <laughs> so I had the two cans of sardines and I felt satisfied. I think I would have been satisfied after one can. Okay. And then why didn't you stop I at one? I do like sardines. I forgot how much I like sardines. Do I want to eat 15 cans worth? I don't know. I'm not sure <laughs> about that. Probably but not. It's very easy to just uh, accept the fact that this is what I'm eating and I'm eating it. I, I don't worry about Oh, I don't like it or what if I don't like it and somebody said I don't what if I don't like it and I said it's okay to eat something you don't like it really is it, it, it's okay but you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to there is nowhere saying that like you know you you're gonna oh gosh this is what's so irritating about it it's like of all the things like of all the things you don't have to eat stuff you don't like. As an adult, there are so many things out there that provide you health and nutrition that you can you can choose not to eat the things you don't like. I'm not going to force myself to eat fish or sardines when there's plenty of other healthy options out there. Like as as a 34-year-old adult, like I stopped doing shit I didn't want to do a long time ago. Okay? I stopped doing shit I didn't want to do a long time ago. You will not catch me forcing myself to eat a sardine if I don't want to. <laughs> and then I said, or your other option is just don't eat it. Nobody's forcing well, anybody to do it. Okay, work. I, I okay, work. I don't know what it's like to not to not like food. I I'll eat anything. I will try anything. No, um, except soy. <laughs> except sardines with traces of soy in it. Yeah, but there are a lot of people who just don't like things even before trying it. They just know. They know they're not going to like it. Oh, I know. I know I'm not. So I oh, I absolutely was know. And then at 11.30 p.m. yesterday, I was kind of hungry. And I was going to bed. And I thought, I'm going to eat another can of sardines before I go to bed. So I did. So I ate only three cans of sardines yesterday, starting at uh, 5 p.m. Well, so so just for the record, also the super sleuths of the internet went on to the internet <laughs> and looked up how much um, calories or how many calories are in those cans, specifically the brand that she got. And apparently there's 100 calories in just one of those cans of sardines. So 
just from the sardine, she was getting only 300 calories, and the rest of her calories for the day came from that stick of butter, in case you're wondering where we're at. Today, I didn't even get out of bed till fucking 2.30 p.m. Oh, my God. I'm going through a thing. I wake up. <laughs> You know, usually before noon, uh -huh. I've been sleeping so much better. I sleep and I sleep hours at a time. I, I, I can't I can't even believe that. And that's not just the, the sardines. That's <laughs> the high fat carnivore. The, the high fat changed my world. I'm so confused, though. I'm so confused. You've been doing high fat carnivore, I think, for like six months, and you're just now noticing the miracles of how much it's helped you sleep. This is this is what I what is so confusing to me is that just like anytime she notices something new or different, that's a positive change to her health. She's like, and that's and that's the power of high fat carnivore. I just imagine her coming on like the pine saw lady and being like, that's the magic of pine saw or whatever, <laughs> whatever that lady used to say in the commercials. Uh, and that's that's how she is. It's just like any any positive thing with her her health she attributes to high fat carnivore, even if it's something that just suddenly popped up today even though she's, you know, been doing this diet for months now, you know? I also am just like, is it, is your sleep really improved if, like, you have this really weird sleep schedule where you woke up at 2.30 p.m. today? It's giving Amberlynn Reed. When it came to sleeping, I feel very guilty and it feels very wrong to be getting up late, but I've gotten up early my entire life sure. as a self-employed woman. Sure, I'd sure, wake sure. Up and, um, so I've been doing that for a long time. And I, I did that and I saved a, you know, a bunch of money for retirement, but I, I can't seem to want to retire. I'm not supposed to be fucking talking about any of this. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Ah. That's another whole video. I'm supposed to be talking about sardines. So ah. <laughs> invested there for a second. We are talking about your sleep. <laughs> I was I was invested where you're going, but yes, thanks for bringing us back. Thanks for pulling us back in. We are here to talk about sardines, girl. We are here to talk about you uh, nourishing your body with God's gift of sardines. See, see how I go off track? Oh, I see. Okay. I guess the point was that I, I sleep late now, so my first can of sardines was at 2.30. Work. I woke up, but I stay in bed. I stay in bed, and I, I do stuff on my iPad. I talked on the phone with my sister. I had no appetite, uh -huh. and uh, I didn't get up until 2.30, and I had one can of sardines. I thought of did having you, another one. Did you have them in bed? <laughs> did you? I was just picturing her sitting there in her bed with her iPad in front of her, maybe her, her readers on. She, she uses readers. And then on her little nightstand next to her, just like opening up a can of tuna, setting it there, and then like do-do-doing on her iPad, do-do-doing, and then going... <laughs> Well, I picture her eating it like a cat and cartoons eat fish, you know, like where they go. And then she's a do do doing. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing all happening in her bed. Just having two at a time, but I'll start with one. Um, and I feel like eating. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to be going through a lot of cans of sardines. That's and wild. somebody uh, said that in the comments. And also Dr. Boss herself said, you're going to find you're not going to need a whole lot of sardines. Well, probably because you don't want to eat them. <laughs> you don't want to eat 1,200 cans of sardines. I am not one to limit calories, so I don't like the idea of not having more calories. But I'm going to do it. It's just for three days. <laughs> I am still doing my butter because I opted for, sure. for uh, sardines in water. So I still want to do my high animal fat carnivore. Okay. Uh, Dr. Boz is not carnivore. She's keto. It is as far so as I true. Know. I it's haven't watched so true. a handful of her videos. 
So at one <laughs> point, she's at least keto. And I mean, at this point, I know about as much about Dr. Boz as Darlene does. I know that she she brands herself on keto. <laughs> I know that much. And I've not watched. I've I maybe I don't know. I've kind of maybe I don't. I'm not sure if I've watched her videos. That's that's why Darlene and I are on the same page about what we know about Dr. Boz at this point. Darlene's probably actually watched parts of her videos. I've watched none of Dr. Boz's videos. I'm just I'm just joshing around with y'all. And um, but I'm carnivore, and uh, that's one reason. And it wasn't snapping at first when she said the olive oil. I was just thinking for some reason like natural fish oil, but I know I don't want soybean oil. That's the devil's word. <laughs> and <laughs> that's uh, the devil. I don't want olive oil. And so that's the devil. That's the devil. I'm obsessed with <laughs> with her obsession over soy. And so, like, uh, there's people in my comments that are like, but Zach, soy is bad. Blah 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 blah. No, leave me alone. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just fast by her fascination with the, the devil's soy. Some of you corrected me and said, oh no, you want olive oil. That's the healthy oil. Not for a carnivore, it's not. I'm, I'm not eating a fucking can of, of fish that was soaked in olive oil. I don't do plants. That would be extreme to eat that many cans of sardines with olive oil. Her obsession over plants just fucking slays me. This is what I'm talking about, besties. This, this is the meat and potatoes of why I'm so obsessed with her. I don't fucking eat olive oil. I don't do plants. Ugh, so good. Chef's kiss. 10 out of 10 content. Recommend highly. Oh, thank God. You know, it would be different if... You know, I was starving and there was all that I had available to me was a can of sardines and olive oil. I'd fucking eat the, the sardines, but I'm not I'm not doing, you know, sardines irregularly. And I think I will sure. stick to this regularly, at least to some point. Uh, I'm not doing the olive oil, folks. I am not. It's don't not, don't do it. It's not a healthy don't. oil. In my head, it's not. Just like you hear it is, I hear that it isn't. Because I have just as many doctors. Dr. Kilts. Oh, another, another YouTube doctor. Dr. Kilts? Is that it? Is this doctor still have their medical license or not? Does this one? Doctor, is she, did she say Dr. Kilts? Let me just pull it up. Let me just, because I'm sure it, I'm sure Dr. Kilts is another another YouTube doctor and not necessarily a a doctor that she's seeing in real life. In fact, he is. I found him. Robert Robert Kiltz, MD. Let's just let's just read a little bit about what he's doing on his about page of his of his YouTube channel. Dr. Robert Kiltz is the founder and director of CNY Fertility, ranked among the top fertility centers in the nation. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, for, I, I, this is fascinating. That's not what I was expecting to see on his YouTube channel. Like, what would, what, <laughs> What would Darlene need advice from a fertility doctor for? Um, I mean, I, I'm not saying that his advice couldn't be helpful, but if his specialty is in fertility, then it seems odd to me that she would be seeking him out. Although, now I just clicked on his videos, and almost all of his videos are, in fact, about the carnivore diet, intermittent fasting, which she doesn't fast. She says that's not what animals would do, unless unintentional. He's got carnivore conversations. It looks like some kind of podcast called Carnivore Conversations. I can't imagine listening to a podcast about a carnivore diet. Oh, here's probably a video she watched. Seed oils, are they bad for us? Probably. <laughs> Probably. It sounds like that's what Darlene would believe. Um, so interesting. Interesting and fascinating that he runs a fertility like clinic and his, his specialty is in fertility according to his own YouTube page and none of these videos suggest anything about fertility. It's all about keto, carnivore, things like that. Although if you scroll, oh, 
Okay, I scrolled far enough, and two years ago, he was, in fact, making videos about fertility. They were not as popular as his carnivore videos. Um, it looks like maybe he started making carnivore videos about a year ago. His first one being a video called My Journey to Carnivore. But before that, actually fascinating, he has LGBTQ family building, fertility treatment options for gay men, fertility treatment options for lesbian couples, fertility treatment options for transgender people. Well, this seems very, very progressive and helpful. <laughs> But, but I'm just I'm just so fascinated how he turned to this carnivore stuff when it seems like potentially his expertise is in fertility. I do know that, uh, you know, a lot of women who struggle with PCOS have issues with fertility. And I know um, a lot of people on YouTube, at least, with PCOS who've talked about how eating like a low carb diet and things like that helps out with PCOS. So maybe that's maybe that's how he got into this realm. I don't know. I mean, that's just my brief overview, but I love I love Darlene's obsession with <laughs> with these YouTube doctors uh, who have who have probably never met her in real life, never heard her specific like health background and she's just eating it up and taking advice from them on the internet. Dr. Kilts, toxic, poison, all the oils like that, the, uh, and, and all the vegetables. Uh -huh. he, he, he's carnivore. And I think 12 years. Okay, so I'm gonna have a hard time getting through this series without straying. From Clearly. The <laughs> Clearly. I, um, I'm sure I'll have more sardines tonight. Work. And, uh, sardine queen. Yeah, it, it's, it, they're, they're Darlene the sardine queen. Darlene the sardine queen. Not me taking Bill Nye the science guy and turning it into a song about <laughs> Darlene. Okay. Oh, and you do want the sardines with the skin and bones. That's the mm. healthiest, the, the bones. Mm. And I think when I uh, last heard Kelly uh, Hogan talking about it, I think I think I heard her say that. You think? I don't know if she did the challenge, but I know she what? was eating at least a can of sardines. You don't know if she did the challenge, and you think you heard her say, "Girl, I'm gonna need you to do your research, bestie. I'm gonna need you to do your research." Incorporating that into some of her meals, and I think it was her that I heard talk about the importance of the of eating the bones and stuff. You can get boneless, skinless sardines if that's what you must have. I know that exists. Uh -huh. I want the bones and the skin. Work. All right, so let me look now Work, at my Diva. little list uh, of notes. So uh, tomorrow I'm planning on showing you the actual sardines. Yes, and again I'm I got this on my list, but I am doing sardines and butter only because I am high fat carnivore and I don't want to stray from the high fat so I'm I'm going to try to do at least a stick of butter per day with my sardines you do not have to do that you can do just the sardine challenge the way Dr. Boz does it and I have the video links in the description of this video the omegas yes I think I was saying omega 6 and 12 or whatever uh -huh. I've never paid attention to supplements, <laughs> vitamins. I've never done that in my life. Clearly, clearly, which is why I'm just so surprised you care now. That was my point yesterday when she brought up the omegas from the sardines or whatever. It's just that, like, she clearly doesn't care about vitamins and nutrition, period, because otherwise she'd be concerned about the the vitamins and nutrients that she's missing from the the vegetables and the fruits and the plants that she's not eating. But it's clear she doesn't care about it, which is why I'm confused that she cares about what is in these sardines. And why I love uh, the way I'm eating now, carnivore, all these years, is because I don't have to pay attention to anything. Calories, <laughs> carbs, I don't weigh anything. That that is also not true. You do pay attention to calories. Even in this video, do you not all remember her saying earlier, like, she's like, I don't like to not get enough calories, and that's why I also try to get a stick of butter in every day because I want those calories. I don't, she she does come on here, and she, you think some girlies on this quarter of the internet do some, like, mental gymnastics. She does her own mental gymnastics over here, and that's how she tries to justify in her mind that she's doing the right thing 
for this carnivore diet. Which, like, live your truth, bestie, but, like, you actively contradict yourself often. I, I eat till I'm full. It's the most freeing, the most freeing thing ever. But, um, it's, so if... It's the most freeing thing ever, but you're literally doing a challenge right now where you're restricting yourself to only eating butter and sardines, but you are a free woman. <laughs> you are a free woman. Siri, play Lady Gaga's free woman. I did rewatch a little bit of the videos, and, um... I think it's the omega-3 that we want. You think? And omega-6, not so much. You think? I don't think? Really know why. I don't really care. I just think I said <laughs> stuff like 6 and 12 in yesterday's video, so I'm trying to half-assed correct myself. Yeah, this is clearly half-assed, but do your own research. Do you, You're you responsible for your own research, not Darlene. So if she says the wrong omega, that's, that's not her problem. That's a you problem. <laughs> Without knowing still what I'm talking about. Clearly. If those omegas <laughs> matter. Clearly. Just go watch the videos. And I did um, do, I linked to three of Dr. Boz's videos. So there's many more. If I find more that I like, I will add them oh, to stunning. the list in, of video uh, video links. Thank you uh, so much. Um, oh, yeah. So yesterday, here's how I prepared for this. Because some of you say, oh, I have to wait till this. Or I have to wait till that. Or I have to wait till this. Well, I had just <laughs> taken out uh, two pounds of ground beef uh -huh. to thaw. And it was mostly thawed. So um, I put that back in the fridge, and today I cooked it all, and I made my bowl with the cover, my container, uh -huh. and that's in the freezer. Mm, two pounds of ground beef just waiting for you, darling. Just waiting for you on the other side of, <laughs> on the other side of these sardines. Uh, so I, I didn't have to wait until I ate that. It wasn't going to go to waste. I cooked it without touching it. I didn't take a taste or anything, and it's frozen. The other thing I did immediately was I put the bag of pepperoni and the leftover cheese in the freezer also. Work. Y yeah, every once in a while, I'll just queen. go for something like that. And I don't care. It's carnivore. As long as it's carnivore, I'm happy. Uh, but I know I can't do dairy for any length of time without getting joint pain. And, you know, I'm not out to eat a two-pound bag or whatever. It's a big bag. The biggest bag you can get at Walmart. Also, I didn't even think about this yesterday when she was having um, this conversation. But so many of you in my comments pointed out that, like, butter is, is technically dairy. But we've had this conversation on Twitch so many times because she, whenever she first started talking about being dairy free, people on Twitch were like, uh, Zach, butter's a dairy. Butter is dairy. It comes from milk. It's like, it is dairy. And listen, I don't disagree, y'all, but, <laughs> but she views it as animal fat. To her, it is not dairy in the same way that cheese is dairy, milk is dairy, whoever, whatever. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page about that because for her, that's a different beast. It's a different situation type of deal, okay? She, she again, in her mind, works things out like that so that, like, everything makes sense for her, even if it doesn't make sense for y'all. And that's why she often is like, do your own research. So whatever you want to do at home is fine on your end, but this is, this is the rule she's made for herself. Does that make sense? Uh, you know, that's not my goal, to eat a whole fucking bag of pepperoni. But if I'm in the mood to just, you know, chow down, pig out, whatever I want to do on that, every <laughs> once in a while, every once in a blue moon... Sure. I do shit like that. So yesterday, I didn't, I didn't have anything but my butter and the sardines. And I think that Dr. Boz actually started this, like, maybe even over a year ago. I think she does it every now and then. Like I said, I haven't been watching her videos. <laughs> I will continue to listen to some of the stuff she says, but like I said, I'm carnivore, uh -huh. I'm not keto. But I can still, you know, learn things from her. You, and you've clearly learned so much. It sounds like you're an expert, except that every time you bring her up, you're like, well, I don't know. I think she said that. She might have said that. I've kind of watched her videos. What are you learning, girl? What are you learning? I plan on continuing with sardines, but I will um, do herring also, herring, uh, because I really oh. like the herring, and I haven't had that in a long time. Okay, and, work. Uh, I will always try to buy 
whatever, in, in water. If I can't get herring in water, then I won't get herring. I grew up on fresh milk. I, if, if the only option is herring and olive oil, fuck you, herring. I won't be doing it. Right from the ocean, because I myself was catching them. Okay, my fisherman. His traps, the schools of mackerel would follow, and I would drop a line with like seven, eight hooks and just catch the mackerel and we, we would have fresh mackerel all the time. Wow. I have had canned mackerel before. That just doesn't compare. So I don't think I'd ever be well, doing canned checks mackerel. checks out. I am going to start eating fish again. Oh. I told you guys when I started High Fat Carnivore adding the butter, that was going to be for six months and that six months is gone. That ended <laughs> June 30. But that's, I love beef so much that I really don't like to stray from it. That's that's done, but now she's I guess apparently going to allow some other things. I feel like she's finally getting maybe tired of the beef and the butter. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm taking from this. If she's ready to add other like meat and animals into her diet. Sounds like she's a little bit over just eating beef and butter every day. I don't have to stray for, from it at all. I can still have, you know, the bulk of my meat be beef every day, but I do want to add some things. I want to get back to like shrimp, and I love shrimp with my steak. And she's um, gonna just, she's gonna diversify that piss. It's no longer gonna be just beef piss. She's gonna have shrimp piss. Mackerel piss. <laughs> Different things, non-optimal things. I just, if it's just a little bit and it's at least carnivore, I'm good. I'm good with that. Uh -huh. uh, when I say non-optimal, like maybe uh, buying a, I call it kielbasa. I think you guys call it sauce, summer sausage or whatever, kielbasa. You know, uh, the big... I do know. Like, I do she... know, because old Amber Lynn's been eating that turkey kielbasa every fucking day for two weeks. So, I do know. I am aware. Kind of thing. And maybe cut that into, like, two-inch pieces. And then take... A, what do you know about a two-inch piece? A piece out of the freezer when I want. And, you know, chop that up into pieces and throw that in with my ground beef. Stuff like that. I want to add a little bit of things um, because I like stuff like that. And it's just a little bit now and then. And it is carnivore, even though it's processed. You are uh -huh. allowed to eat processed meat. You know, you are. Um, well, well, thank you for the chicken permission. <laughs> the literal chicken permission. Thank you so much. Some people, that's pretty much all they eat because they just don't like meat. And the carnivore gurus will say, if that's all you can stomach... Is processed meat, it's better than... Wait, if, if you don't like meat, if you don't like meat, why would you be doing the carnivore diet to begin with? That sounds like you are setting yourself up for a bad time. Than eating vegetables. Just stick with the processed if that's all you can handle. But most people end up loving meat after a while. Okay, I gotta stop talking. I, my list is done. <laughs> please, and, um, please do. Uh, I'm just... I'm excited. I, oh, I, ha I feel nothing. I don't feel sick. I didn't get any heartburn. I think Dr. Boz said she got heartburn Ooh, when she did hate two heartburn. cans of um, boneless, skinless, but she had no ill effects with the regular sardines with bone and skin, right? I don't care what it looks like. I don't get grossed out by stuff like that. I look at this as medicine. This uh -huh. is going to help me. And my real thing that I'm trying to see, the, the one thing that I'd be able to maybe notice is if my right knee would lose all pain. It has a little bit of pain, constant, but such a tiny amount. But all my other joints are pain-free. Uh -huh. If I do dairy, all my joints will hurt, including my hips now, too. The right side is worse than the left side. Uh, but the hips will hurt, my knee will hurt, my shoulders will hurt. I I know all wait, is she saying that the little the little bit of knee pain she has left, did she say it's already cured? I don't think that's what she said, right? That would be crazy if that was what she said. She didn't say that. And um, uh, even even my fingers will start to get sore. I've had times where my ankles were sore. Um, it pretty much covers a lot, right? Sure. Uh, so I have a little bit of pain. I don't think three days is going to tell oh. me if I can get okay. rid of that little true, tiny true, bit true. of pain in my knee true. from the sardines. Okay, great. She's, she's speaking sense. She, at, at least in this very moment... She is speaking since that mm, probably a three-day 
sardine cleanse is not going to relieve my my knee pain <laughs> just by doing that for for three days. But I, I think I will continue to have sardines in my apartment for sure. You know, maybe even do something like start out every day with a can of sardines. Ooh. I don't know. What what a life to live. What a life to look forward to starting every day out <laughs> with a can of sardines. You know, I look forward to starting every day with a cup of coffee, but to each their own. Don't let me yuck your yum, bestie. Um, and then just eat my other stuff or just, you know, have them when I am hungry before I go to bed and I don't feel like cooking. I can pop open a can of sardines and, and eat that. It's very satisfying. So I'm happy about that. And then I Good. said I could get herring if I can get it in water. The mackerel, I think I'll be skipping. I could try it once just to see if uh, I'd be okay with it. I don't care to do the anchovies. Uh, and what's the last one is, is salmon. And I love salmon. I would buy that fresh or maybe frozen. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not buying the canned salmon. Sure. I, I like that, but I could do it fresh or frozen. For sure. All right, you guys. So I Is will that be back it? tomorrow with an update. Are we I'll good? show you the sardines. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for God watching. God bless. Bye. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Oh, Darlene. Oh, she is so goofy. <laughs> She's so goofy with the sardine business. Uh, but I'm going to keep watching because I am hooked. I'm invested. I'm obsessed. We're good to go, besties. We are good to go. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. Thanks so much for watching. I should be back tomorrow if, if Amberlynn finally posts a new video. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But otherwise, if you're brand new here and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!